Hey guys, Color Out Camperman Brian here. So today I'm going to be doing something pretty sweet. Uh, I am going to be putting a solar panel on my mother-in-law's uh, camper here. So I got the Windy Nation 100 watt panel with the P30L charge controller. I picked this up on Amazon. I actually got this for them as a Christmas present. Um, and we're just getting ready to put it on. So I'm going to show you guys the steps involved in this project and show you guys what we need to do to get this hooked up. All right, so this is the materials that you're going to need for this project. The drill, a cock gun with die core sealant. I needed some extra small wood blocks. I also used a hanger, which you'll see why, uh, or just a really long hook tape measure and then you're going to need a 10 millimeter uh, socket wrench as well as just a normal fixed wrench flashlight helps flathead screwdriver a number two square tip screwdriver and then some various pliers slash wire cutters um, a drill bit set multimeter soldering gun with an extension cord and then also just a old rag. So first thing we're going to do is unhook the batteries so we don't have any power going into the camper. So with the solar panel we did get the Z brackets. I think they were about an extra five bucks and there's four of them. Two that mount on this side, two that mount on that side. So we're going to go ahead and get those attached to the solar panel before we put it up on the roof. All right, so now what I'm doing is before I start drilling holes and everything, I'm just taking off all the panels as to where I plan on doing things. So what my plan is is to mount the solar panel somewhere up top, either in the front or back there. There's a lot more room back there. Run the wires down the refrigerator vent top, have them come here and then drill a hole either down here or through here to pop in out in the inside compartment. So I got the vent cover below the fridge off as well as kind of the initial panel on the converter box and then below here just wanted to get everything all opened up so I can see what we're working with. And the plan is to hook directly up to the DC positive and negative on the panel here and then run um, a power inverter and mount it somewhere here, maybe I'm thinking, so that uh, then we can turn the power inverter on and have a couple outlets to use. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop up on the roof and get the solar panel mounted. All right, so I think we're just gonna go ahead and put the solar panel right here. Um, then if we want to add any additional ones, we could just go that way. Um, could also put it over here, but then we'd have kind of a wonky setup if we did want to add another one. So we'll go ahead and put it here, and this way there won't be a whole lot of cables running up on the roof either, just a little bit there. And then we're gonna go ahead and take off that cover and get the wires fed down there. All right, so here's our vent cover. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna cut a little hole so we can get the wires fed down there. So the cables are kind of stuck up in there. The problem is when you get them, they're all rolled up. So there's a curve to them. So what I'm gonna do is uh, take a hanger here and straighten the hanger out and see if I can't grab them.
Ooh, that was messy, dirty, dusty, but we got it. All right, so now we're gonna get the uh, solar panel mounted on here. So these screws did not come with the solar panel, so you have to buy some. So these are just real fat wood screws that we're gonna put in here. But first we're gonna open up our uh, die core sealant here and we're gonna put a bunch of sealant on the bottom of the Z brackets first and then we'll get this baby screwed in. That's where it does help if you do have a rag up here just to wipe off any excess that you get on your fingers. Alright, solar panel is mounted, die core is on the Z brackets and the screws, wires are fed. Now it's time to hop back down and get working down there. Alright, so now it's time to drill a hole in here. I look down below this pipe here and there's uh, plenty of open space right here so I'm just going ahead and going to drill the hole right here. Alright, so we got the wires fed through. Now we need to drill another hole right here so that our wires were, will now pop through behind the converter box. Alright, so I fed the wires from down here and actually I was able to get the converter box uh, out a little bit more, just being too gentle with it earlier. So we got the wires here and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the charge controller over here as well as the power inverter and this is very flimsy this wall and there's nothing in between there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to nail one by four on the back end here or I'm going to put the one by four on the back end and kind of snug it up and make sure that it's nice and tight So I pre-drilled the holes, put the screws in about halfway. Now I'm gonna to go to the inside and put my inside board in. All right, so we're all good here. Got the screws all hooked up there. Got the inner board here. Cause again, there's nothing, there's literally nothing between this little inside sheet and this outside sheet. And these things are tiny, I mean, they're like maybe a quarter inch thick. So I put that board back there just to be able to give this some support so it's not just screwed into those two tiny little boards because it would likely rip out of those holes. So now I'm gonna mount the charge controller right next to it and start hooking up wires. Okie dokie, so we got the uh, power inverter here all hooked up. Now we're gonna get a hole drilled to feed the wires on through. All right, so we've got the wires coming through. These are from the solar panel, so I'm gonna get those hooked up. And then I need to get some other wires in here that will go back to the batteries. All right, so we're looking at the DC section of our panel here, and we have the negative up top, positive on the bottom. We do have an open port on the positive, and then we're gonna put our negative up here with one of these wires. These wires will then feed out and go to the charge controller where they will be hooked up to the battery section of the charge controller. Once that's hooked up, we will jump up on the roof and get the wire set up to the solar panel. All right, so I fed the wire on through. I did need to drill another hole. I'm doing one wire at a time so that way there's no confusion at all about what is what. So we're gonna go ahead and get uh, negative wire hooked up first and then I'll feed the positive on through. All right, so we just got the uh, cables hooked up. It shows that we have 12.2 volts. Battery is four fifths of the way charged. And yeah, now we need to just hook up the solar panel and 
We're in business. All right, so we're back up on the roof, and we're now trying to figure out which one is uh, negative and which one is positive. And do that by touching both wires. If it's positive like it's showing, then we know it's hooked up right. And if it's reversed, it's negative, that means that this is wrong. So that means that this one's positive and this one's negative. So I hooked everything up and uh, wasn't getting any power so I, um, I am going to solder these wires on because I think we just weren't getting a good connection because I didn't use real crimpers to crimp this down, just uh, neo nose pliers. So I'm going to solder these up and hopefully it should work. Alright so we got the power inverter hooked up to the solar uh, or the charge controller now. So we're going to go ahead and turn the load on. Turn this on, and woo, we got a little fan going. So that's pretty sweet. So that all seems to be working fine, and I'm guessing we're not bringing in any solar right now, uh, just because it's really cloudy out. So, um, yeah, anyways, turn that off. So that is it. So that's how you install a solar panel onto a camper. If you guys have any questions about my process or anything I did, uh, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching the video, and we'll see you guys in the next video.